real quick, I'm going to show y'all how to make whipped cream. And this is the real whipped cream. Uh, a few years ago, I was living in Seattle, and a little girl next door came over, and I was making whipped cream. And she looked at it, and she's like, what are you doing? I said, I'm making whipped cream. And she was just flabbergasted that I didn't have a can of stuff to, you know, psh, which on occasion I'll cheat and do that, but not very often because it's so easy. So the first thing you want to do is start with heavy cream, heavy whipping cream, uh, heavy cream. It's the same thing, all right? You're looking for a higher butter fat content. Don't try to do half and half or whole milk. You're not going to be happy. And I've got about, I don't know, three quarters of a cup. You don't have to be exact with this. And I have made whipped cream a thousand times with regular sugar. This is powdered sugar just because I have some. And I guess I'm using about a tablespoon and a half. I don't want it too crazy. Now, little trick. I'm using this because I like to, when I whip the cream, I like to hold it at, at an angle because as those beaters move around, they're going to be pulling more air down in there. So we're whipping more air into it. So this is going to be loud. It's only going to take a couple of minutes, but I'm going to pause the camera while I get this going. And literally all I'm going to do is stand here and do this. All right. But I'll show you what it turns into because it's kind of heavenly. Thomas took over his uh, cameraman, let Bladen do this. He was having fun with it. All right. So I want to show you what happens. You can see it's about doubled in volume. And you see how we're getting, if you, if you pull the beaters up, you get those little peaks and they don't stick. It's called a soft peak. That's because all the air we're whipping in there. So we're just going to keep beating for a second, but I wanted to show you how you're on the right track if this is starting to happen. Okay. So. No? Yeah? No? Yeah? No? Yeah? Okay. Yes, you can have a beater in a minute. Well, or now. So watch it when you start you know the, the, what i showed you a second to get a soft peak it probably was less than 30 seconds of additional mixing or whipping uh before we reach this stage which is stiff peak and that's if you if you put your utensil down in there and you pull it up you've got little stiff peaks that come up and they hold their shape real well so you see how that see what that looks like that's what you're after now the cool thing about whipped cream is if you wanted to, you could put a drop or two of vanilla, you could put a little almond extract, you could put a shot of bourbon, a little rum. You can flavor this in a hundred thousand different ways. I'm not gonna do that. A, it's all going with the kids, and although, you know, rum would be an early night, night, it's probably not the best idea. But I have a fresh homemade pumpkin pie, and it's gonna go on the pumpkin pie. Yeah, and that's where Bladen was testing it to see if it was done. So my whipped cream is going to go on my fresh homemade pumpkin pie. All right. So if you want just absolute heaven, look, covering up your transgression blading. If you want absolute heaven <laughs> or a phone call, fresh homemade whipped cream takes a few seconds. It's absolutely delicious.